Hello everybody, this is Jay Honcho. This is going to be Rukudo versus myself. I am again the pink zerg in the bottom left. Rukudo, uh, this time, is going to play Protoss. And we'll see exactly how that goes. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, I had heard, and look at me spamming like I'm some kind of pro. Look at that, 2.40 APM. Oh, so, yes! Oh, that'll drop significantly through the course of the game, I'm sure. Um, my real strategy here was just to have some fun. I didn't expect um, him to be a very <laughs> big challenge. Um, primarily because he didn't he didn't have the confidence in the pregame lobby. He was just like, well, at least I get to beat you know be beat by somebody that's kind of funny or something. I don't know. But um, you know that just kind of let me know that he wasn't very confident in what he was doing. But I do have an overlord in my back door again. And I ask if I have to scout, because I didn't know what race he was. He did go random. Um, and I was truthfully only really worried about Reapers, because even though they're pretty easy to stop, um, they can seriously mess a Zerg up if you're not prepared. And, you know, we have some fun fun words here. Uh, forge building for Kudo. And, oh, this was borderline asinine. Um, luckily for me, I, it didn't get to the point. I am sending my Overlord. I think it's just there. Um, I do scout that he is Protoss there, as well as when I get into his base and I see the Forge and I wonder exactly what he's doing. But I'm just going to continue to drone up. I don't have an expansion. I think I'm going to go 15 pull and then um, and go from there. Truthfully, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a game plan going into this match uh, because he was just so sad. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yes. And, oh, probe down. Oh, yeah, he's a predator. Actually, I think all of them are predators, but he's got to kill. Meanwhile, Rakuto being sneaky here, going to be warping in a cannon right there, uh, presumably to break down my back door. Now, he doesn't do this, but that would be the intention, as a photon cannon would do about 20 damage. Uh, or, sorry, uh, 17 damage. He finally gets rid of my probe, or my, my scouting drone after a while. I do make a bunch of uh, waypoints just because I want to keep them alive as I build stuff. I'm building my spawning pool very late on 16, including um, after a, an extractor. So I've been droning pretty hard. My opponent hasn't been using his chrono boost, uh, leaving a couple SCVs or, or probes around. And here's where I notice the uh, <laughs> the cannon. And I was I was flabbergasted at that point. I was like, uh, really? Is that really happening? Uh, but as we see the game go on, it does happen. We do have two gates going down right now in his main. And I'm pretty sure this drone gets away. In fact, he's been regening life that entire time. And I do uh, send him back to my base, and he gets there eventually. But um, I do have my expansion up, and I'm starting to put them out. I still haven't hotkeyed that expansion, which is really bad of me. you got to get in a good habit of doing that, and that's something that I sorely need work on. But, no zergling speed. Uh, queen on the way. First hundred gas. We'll see what I get. Maybe it is zergling speed. I don't know. Um, truthfully, not a lot of this game made sense to me. Uh, but, that's neither here nor there. I do have my scouting drone and my overlord bunched up in the bottom. Meanwhile, this photon cannon and pylon are just sitting there saying, you know, what's up? They can't see up this uh, ridge, so I was actually safe with my overlord. But for if I'm on the ramp, he can see me, which is actually where I placed it. So he's going to be moving out uh, with a probe, and we'll, we'll s just set this to follow. And exactly, I want you to see uh, what he's going to do with it. And it's kind of interesting, kind of dangerous. I even saw the, the pylon go down, and I didn't really care. Um, or not go down. I saw it eventually, but I'm just going to be making some uh, some spine crawlers to avoid some run bys and stuff like that. But he is going to be getting these pylons at my choke, and you got to wonder exactly what he's doing. He's just continuing to make a ton of zealots, finally getting gas at around six minutes into the game. Um, I'm just having fun here. I'm keeping everything low except for my gas. Getting a lair. Oh, that's what happened. Um, so I'm building a spawning pool because apparently I thought that two things happened. One, that my lair popped. And two, um, that I was building a spire instead, which of course it was a keystroke error. And I'm sure I'm going to research it now. Like, look at that. 
and I just start laughing. He's got some zealots in the way. He also has gateways <laughs> right outside my base, and more zealots streaming in from his two gateways. Um, Unit-wise, uh, I still stopped uh, making drones way before I should have. Um, <laughs> but he asked what what's going on, and I said I made two spawning crews. <laughs> of course, if you're astute, you know that the reason why that would happen, and look at this sneaky little something, he's going to get an expansion up there, I bet. Um, just continue to stream in zealots. If he had charge, I would have just cried, because that, that would have been the end of me. Um, but he's not doing anything over here. What he could have done was research warp gate and get an observer over here and, and just warp in up the high ground. But he's going to move in, he's going to see the spine crawler, and he's going to be like, oh, I'm not going to do that. Because um, I'm perfectly content to be uh, forced into two base play. That's just fun. Unfortunately, this drone is not so fun. I move in just to see what's going on. I'm still slow. Uh, speed hasn't finished yet. And my spire is done, yes! But I, for some reason, have absolutely no gas, and I have no idea why. I have three, one, three in that one, three in that one. Oh, but I have a Nidus Canal. Maybe that's why. And I'm slowly moving up my Overlord to try and get in position to Nidus him, uh, because I realize that uh, he does have this, let's call it a contain, and he has an expansion going up, which I didn't see at that point. But I continue to make Zerglings and, and continue to make speed. Um, and I'm just going to make a ton of Zerglings, just because. Might as well keep it in the Tier 1 family. Meanwhile, you know, I could have just... All these Zealots are on stop, so I could just keep pulling them back if I wanted to, but I didn't do that. And I say, oh, because I didn't have any gas, or I was Overlord blocked or something, because I only have a couple mutas in production. So I'm getting... Oh, right! Um, he killed it with the... He killed by that Overlord that was going for the... Um, the Nidus with his uh, cannons, which is evil. He says, take that evildoer. Meanwhile, he's supply capped at 50. He's not making any more units. Meanwhile, I'm at 62. <laughs> Most of those being Zerglings and the Queens and a couple drones here and there. But he's got his expansion up, continuing to make a ton of probes. And now he has a stalker. Oh, now it's serious. He's continued to stream units in there. He is now at 54 out of 68 supply. And I can just continue, continue, continue to make... I even get an Overseer because I was like, well... what? We'll if there's a DT, I'm dead. But speed finishes for the overlords. My mutas are out, going across the map, going up toward the corner of his base. And you guessed it, muta time. He gets the Twilight Council, maybe to tech up to those Dark Templars. I guess that pylon. But let's see this as it begins. And let's let's see it from his perspective. He can't see this. He's moving all his units toward my base. He is a fairly strong force here of zealots and one stalker and you hear it and what happens he sees some zerglings in his base so what does he do he does the sensible thing and says well he's got nothing in his base let's just attack it and he's right i just have some spine crawlers and whatever i have his main what i should have done is focus down his pylon and said screw it but he's going to be killing stuff these spine crawlers aren't quick to die uh, Muta's here, going to try and take out the Stalkers. Unfortunately, they are focus firing, um, and probably will take them out. Now, I said, you know what? I have enough in here to kill them. I'm just going to stream them back home, <laughs> and hopefully save my hatchery. But I am going to move in, realize that it's not in my favor until I have to wait. More Stalkers here, um, the Muta going down. Still have a ton of Zerglings here, and I have Mutas attacking his Nexus over here. But I am able to do a quick surround, and once there's a surround for Zerglings, they do a lot better. Uh, I still have Zealots attacking this. Uh, really, I just didn't worry about it. I leave one Zergling here attacking everything. And I get a nice surround with the Broodlings helping. And I'm able to kind of focus down all these Zealots. I love how they kind of move. And now, unfortunately, Stalkers are very weak to Speedlings as it quick surrounds, uh, very much uh, do damage to them, but more units coming out, two more um, zealots as well, but these mutas is going to town, this zergling going to become like a metamorph at some point, uh, I was just having fun, I still have mutas here, I'm getting infestation pit, going to tech up to hive, maybe get some brood lords, I still have a ton of zerglings here, and I'm just having fun, I'm searching around for more expansions, 
I realize that I can't attack this guy. He does have warp gates out, much to his credit. Unfortunately, um, he doesn't really have much to warp in as his cyber core is down, so he could potentially warp in some zealots here. Two zealots, in fact. Um, he gets one uh, probe out and builds a pylon here. And so I nidus him over here. Why not? I still have this uh, pylon to take care of, but it's not really a pressing matter. I just love the idea of a Nidus in practice, it's much harder to pull off, because most players won't set up shop right outside your base. So I did lose the expansion, but really it doesn't matter. Um, I knew this going in. But uh, I could have just continued to make a ton of uh, Zerglings, and he is being revealed, so I do see the remaining pylons. This Zergling got you know called away from his duty, and he continues to attack. I will probably unload and unload. This is so cool, seeing a stream of units in like a diagonal line. And he's asking why he can't escape for the, through this bridge, and clearly because it's drawn. And I was like, what? I don't know what bridge you're talking about. Meanwhile, I rally my Zergling forces, ready to die for the swarm. Really, I could have just focused down the pylon and saved myself a headache, but... I have Zerglings not doing anything, and that's fine, they don't really do anything. But, uh, <laughs> this is a good game. You know, Rukudo tried something very, very unorthodox. I thought he was going to do something very interesting with this Photon Cannon. If he broke down my back and forced me to either pick my main or my natural, it put me in a bit of a spot. My mutas do find this pylon and take it out. Meanwhile, these Zerglings will be taking this out. My lone Zergling has his mission, and that, of course, is to finish the Assimilator, but I'm sure... I will have some help for him soon. And he's continuing to patrol the bridge, hoping that one day his ticket will come in and he will be able to escape this blistering sands hellhole. Um, now this pylon going down, these mutas are going toward one of his last buildings, but he, says, he actually tells me where it is. I'm like, oh, I think I might pull this off. I'm not. Yeah, I pull it off before I kill it. And I just play around, because, you know, at this point, it's just a fun game. I just move them around, try to make them stack, and have some fun. And then I move them up the bridge, I'm like, ha-ha, I can do it. Um, these Zerglings are just not doing much. I said, I can go. Pubert. Interesting name for him. And that's actually kind of cool, that the Mutas go in a kind of a line. Don't hurt Pubert. So I leave Pubert alone, because... Yeah. <laughs> You never know about puberty. But I do get some infestors out. Spawn nine infested Terrans. And surprisingly, they're actually able to kill things. So, fun game. I uh, didn't <laughs> play seriously at all. But uh, that's part of the fun. So, um, I'm happy to say I move out of group play. Uh, followed closely by Strassus. I'm hoping to see a little bit more of him. He, he had a good base. Rukudo needs a little bit of work, but at least he had fun doing it. That's the most important part about StarCraft. If you're, you know, playing and you hate it, don't play it. So, Rukudo brings some fun to the game, and little Pubert here will live to fight another day. Um, <laughs> so, that's it for Group G. We'll see what uh, else is going on in the other groups.